హాయ్ దక్ష వెల్కమ్ టు గుల్టే నేను బాగున్నానండి మీరు విత్ ఆల్ ది సూషీస్ ఐ థాట్ సూషియా ఇప్పుడే మాట్లాడుతున్నాం షర్ట్ మీద సూషీ ఉంది సూషి పీపుల్ మై గెట్ మీ రాంగ్ ఓకే సో యూ లవ్ ఫుడ్ హియర్ ఐ లవ్ ఫుడ్ ఐ లవ్ ఫుడ్ ఐ లివ్ టు ఈట్ ఓకే బట్ యు ఆర్ అ వీగన్ ఎస్ హ్యావ్ అ వీగన్ ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ నాట్ మెనీ పీపుల్ ఆర్ యా బట్ ఐ థింక్ అ లాడ్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ షుడ్ బి వీగన్ యా సో ఫర్ హౌ లాంగ్ హ్యావ్ యూ బిన్ అ వీగన్ um i think it's been uh what three se- seven years okay yeah okay okay yeah and uh, how, like you know it must be a struggle no to find foods that you like no actually contrary to what people believe uh earlier eating out used to be a struggle for me but then i'm also someone who barely eats out i'm not the kind to go out and eat uh, or eat every day outside kind of a person Uh, vegan food is like our staple Indian diet or Indian food style. So okay. ne- that was never hard. But these days eating out has also become very easy because of all the options that you have yeah. in vegan. Every restaurant is offering. There are special restaurants for vegan people. So it's become very easy now. <laughs> so I'm, I don't think I've ever had an issue with that. Okay. And you're a sushi fan. I am a sushi lover. I think I've had sushi, vegan sushi in, uh, in Thailand and I've had to, in Netherlands. both these places i i think i can only go to those places just for sushi also if i have to go in the morning and come back like after two days i'll do that oh the travel time included <laughs> okay wow yeah. it sounds like a dream <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but i've also seen these instagram clips of you doing weight lifting okay yeah. so how is that like you know how is your approach to fitness like uh i uh, for me fitness is very much part of uh, my just regular lifestyle it's not something i push myself to do or it's not something that i take an effort in doing it's something which is very regular oh, to okay. me okay so it's just been a part of me for a really long time and it's just my regular thing school lo chaala sports aade valla oh yes i still love football i still play football oh okay football I'm like a football fan oh okay yeah. So, uh, the Manchester United, Chelsea, uh, no, I, I used to be a Barcelona fan okay. and then now uh, into Miami. I love Messi, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge Messi fan. Yeah. Okay. Cricket do you want to play cricket? No. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. I mean, I know what cricket is. I know how it's played and all that. Hmm. I know obviously cricket is because uh, of the name you hear every time. But it's not uh, my game. I okay. love football. అంటే కానీ ఇప్పుడు చాలా చాలా మంది చూస్తారు కదా ఐపీఎల్ అదంతా నాకే పియర్ ప్రెషర్ వచ్చేసింది అరే ఇదేంటో ఫాలో అవ్వాలి చూడాలని నీకు ఎప్పుడు రాలేదా నో నెవర్ ఐ ఐ హెర్లీ ఎవర్ వాచ్ ఎనీ ఐపీఎల్ సీజన్ ఫ్రమ్ ది బిగినింగ్ ఆర్ ఎనీ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ క్రికెట్ ఫర్ దట్ మ్యాటర్ ఐ నాట్ సీన్ ఎనీ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ నాట్ ఎ క్రికెట్ పర్సన్ అట్ ఆల్ ఓకే ఓకే ఐ లవ్ దిస్ క్లారిటీ ఫుట్బాల్ ఉంది కదా i have football i go crazy i go mad when fifa happens or you know uh, all the euro cup or anything happens i go crazy about it i mean you will do really well like in kerala i think because kerala lo kuda there are so many football fans kada i don't know a lot of people in kerala bengal yeah, yeah bengal and all these places and all that i don't know i i love football <laughs> <laughs> so coming back to swag mm. so what is the role you are playing Uh, I feel like it reminded me a uh, singer or singer part a చూస్తున్నప్పుడు కొంచెం నాకు మీ జాంబీ రెడ్డి రోల్ గుర్తొచ్చింది వాట్స్ uh she stands by the person she loves uh she doesn't give up on them just because they don't match up to the societal yeah. values of how a boyfriend or a husband should be she is all about herself she is independent that's the character she plays so okay in gender war lo she is the one the male chauvinists would hate antara uh yeah me uh, the ones that a lot of pseudo feminist women might not like and oh. a lot of uh, male chauvinists uh, I don't know they might like her but why wouldn't the show pseudo feminists not like because her because she pre- uh, she represents the feminism of for what it should be oh uh, you okay. know it's not about being better than another man but it's about being equal 
Okay. And with equality, she doesn't mean uh, being physically strong or whatever it is about physical strength. It's about equal opportunities. It's about being there to support. the other half when they can't do something and it's expecting the same thing in return it's not about i want to be better than another man i don't want this man to get the offer i want to get she doesn't represent that so which is very against to what a uh, typical pseudo feminism that's pushed out okay so i think they might not like that part okay interesting ante anta depth lo meer explore chesara swag lo yeah i think so yeah wow that that sounds very interesting yeah <laughs> thank you so ippudu me me obviously real life lo kuda feminism gurinchi you must have had your own ideas dantlo akkadi nunchi vastu did you find a match of your opinions a reflection of your opinions in swag or was there anything that you learnt in the process hello uh, so uh, when i was narrated the script also and i was told that this is the kind of character you play this is what your role looks like i was pretty much like this is how i am in real life these are my ideologies in real life or these are my morals so i i i it was more like playing my own self okay yeah okay. so ikkad meer koncham historical ah uh, uh, traditional look lo unnaru so are you also a part of that uh, par, that Era. Pa- era yeah yes yes i am also part of that era and i'm also part of the younger era which you saw all the peppy dancey stuff oh, okay that. so everybody have plays a double role in this film like uh, that i can't tell you because obviously the actor plays like seven roles <laughs> so it's i don't know what do you call a seven role <laughs> yeah but obviously ritu has meera garu has yeah most people will have double roles or they'll be connected in the different eras some way or the other and you have scenes with all of them uh not all i have scenes with uh, vishnu i have scenes with ritu i have scenes with meera garu it's about being in the this thing so uh, yeah i do have scenes with i have scenes with bahubati i have scenes with him yeah so ante ravanasura kuda ravanasura lo kuda it was a multi starer film ikkada kuda there are many stars hmm. so how has your experience of this film been endukante this is much wackier i feel ha uh-huh, yeah yeah intlo chaala imagination undi uh-huh. and chaala ante adi oka traditional uh, uh, masala film format lo kaakunda inkoka direction lo velipothundi mm-hmm. so how was your experience um, okay. the, that's what uh, i mean for ravanasura it was a story of uh, ravana surudu uh, sita and rama hmm okay how each one is using the other to get what they want and the sita is getting <laughs> getting uh, whatever she was in between the yes. whole thing uh, so that that's what i played uh then this movie it's actually a very character driven movie okay uh, like obviously story is a big thing but also all the characters in the movie drive the movie if you take out one of them also the movie won't be there like everyone is equally important everyone has that equal depth of okay. whatever uh, their character is even if their it's a, a name everything has a lot of depth so they all move the story forward that wasn't the thing with ravana sura it wasn't like every character was moving it forward obviously the uh, male uh, male one was moving the char- the story forward but in this one it's not just the uh, every character is helping the story move forward okay no one is just placed there to be there okay yeah. any kind of challenges did you face mm-hmm. uh, any steep learning curve that you had to face during this yeah. movie see there are no challenges as such such but yeah this since this is the first time i'm ever dubbing hmm. and i'm dubbing dubbing in a movie of hasid kohli who is like considered to be this uh, tough telugu master kind of a guy <laughs> so that was the tough part to live up to their expectation or to excel their expectation when you speak I mean it's very easy to do that uh, on the set because uh, obviously a little here and there is okay but when you're doing that on the in the dubbing studio you have to be really careful about every single word you say how you pronounce how your tongue rolls everything the pronunciation is like has to be precise so that's where i had a little uh, little difficulty but it was easy he made it very easy for me so this is the first time you ever dubbed in your career yes oh wow that is interesting kada <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is the first time i ever dubbed and that too in telugu <laughs> like hindi is like my language so i could easily do that but in telugu it was like tough kani ippudu meer annar kada challenging ga undindani because of hasid goli and his hmm. uh, you know 
the way he envisions certain scenes and all yeah. ee anukunnara okay idu koncham challenging undi grandika telugu maatladalsi vastadi maybe next movie ki chestanani or was hasid particular did he insist no no i think both of us me and uh, hasid both of us from the very beginning we were uh, we were like super sure that uh, i was like i want to do dubbing for myself in this movie i want to do dubbing for myself in this movie i kept cribbing and after like a couple of days with me on set he understood that i can get the telugu and all that because i'm very northy northy you know so he was also <laughs> like okay she gets it right she's getting the dialogue she's getting the pronunciations right away so yeah he was also like okay you will only be doing your own dubbing <laughs> <laughs> so yeah from the very beginning also i don't want to like have someone else's voice on my face or on my acting i didn't want it that i was so like done with it Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean no no offense, they're all good, but I just wanted my voice on my face. Okay. But yeah. konjam confidence perina tanpichu anpistunda. Also yeah, since it's been a little while for me being around Telugu people, being around my team, being around all those people, all of them are Telugu. I interact to try to interact with them mostly in Telugu. So, you know, I'm like more confident that I could do this. Maybe if you would have asked me this for Ravana Sura, I wouldn't be this confident. Okay. Yeah, okay. even though that uh, the character <laughs> barely had any dialogues. <laughs> <laughs> I was still not <laughs> so confident. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. So actually now I like your role in uh, Zombie Ready a lot. Uh, I think yeah. that was the first film I had seen. Hadn't uh. watched the previous films. Every amma and in takane google chesanu. And ipudu me off screen personality kuda chustunte it's very fun and it's very vibrant and you know is that what you actively seek for in roles as well no it's not something i actively seek if you really look at the character i play in this movie she's not that uh, fun fun bubbly bubbly that i am hmm. uh, as an individual uh, but it's not something i actively seek in a character i'm open to playing uh, anything that i feel is uh, is helping me grow okay okay yeah, i'm that kind of a person <laughs> like i have to keep growing i am very Uh, I think I'm a very creative person and I need to kind of have challenges to keep me stimulated from that person. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So if you're a runner, you're in an interview lo annar that I'm a trained actor ani. Mm. So what kind of training did you have prior to joining the sets? I think I've had uh, training like when I decided that movies is something I want to do and this is something I'm really very passionately feeling about uh, is when I t- uh, took up like classes with A Clavia and all in Bombay uh, to get to understand how it works and to understand how important it is to do your dialogues to understand how to speak from your not from your throat but from your uh, a diaphragm I learned all of those things from the acting school obviously the main uh, uh, everything is like uh, vague oh. when you go on to the set everything changes but yeah these basic little things uh, are very helpful when you get to the get to the set like even when, during the dubbing my voice uh, my voice training really helped me which i learned from the acting school it really helped me to speak from the from within instead of just speaking from my throat hmm. Uh, or you know uh, being able to get the dialogues really fast my uh, i think uh, after a point i started getting the biggest of the dialogues after i would reach the set oh, okay. because the director said okay she'll pick it up fast we can oh, write it on the set okay. but that also comes from the training i've had uh, in the acting school you know where i was like you would give you would be given such lengthy dialogues or scenes and all and you have to like practice uh, and give a delivery or do like the tests and all that so with the practice it just got so easy for me so those things really help with the with the movies okay so ipudu meeru 2015 lo debut chesin tarvata you went back to college right and you, you went back to actually school school ah yeah. you were very young <laughs> yeah okay yeah so yeah that happened i took like a gap of about 4 years 5 year 4 years i think four after years. that and then after that i did one movie and then again took a gap of like 2 years or something because i was still doing my degree okay and then after that is when zombie ready came i think after zombie ready also i took like a year did your family insist that you have to complete an education or you wanted to yeah, i'm from a very academically driven family yeah, family of doctors uh, no no doctors doctors as such but yeah there are few people okay. who doctors you should get someone to change her wikipedia page then oh my wikipedia has everything about me that's lie <laughs> that's a lie most of it is lie i think when i saw my wikipedia i was like yeah oh this is also true i don't know this so yeah 
na but yeah they're all uh, academically driven all have all have studied uh, hmm. properly so that's when and for us uh, movies was a uh, little like uh, not something most of anybody in my family has ever thought about also to take up uh, so yeah that's why they were like let's just do our uh, study part of it and all and you're still like growing up you will eventually find your passion it's not like um, you know you go there you liked it so that's your passion mm-hmm. you like get to know about your passion get t- get into it go deep into it and see if you really want it go for it if you don't really want it uh, let's just like not get there <laughs> interesting and meer yeah. bba chadukunnar kada yeah okay so is like doing business in the future is that something you are interested in uh, uh, like at the, when i was doing is uh, like business is something i think i been seeing people do it from when i was a kid uh, in the house so it it was something which was very natural like that decision was there was no doubt about it like i have to learn how to do business <laughs> 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 yeah okay సో మీరు ఒక ఇంటర్వ్యూలో చెప్పారు దట్ యూ ఆర్ అ టాపర్ ఇన్ స్కూల్ అని యూ ఆర్ రియలీ గుడ్ అట్ అకాడమిక్స్ లైక్ నాట్ టాపర్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ అంత కూడా కాదు బట్ ఐ వాయిస్ లైక్ ఐ థింక్ వెన్ ఐ డెట్ మై టెన్త్ ఐ ఐ టాప్ ఇన్ వట్ ఫిజిక్స్ ఎకానమిక్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ వాజ్ మై లైక్ స్ట్రాంగెస్ట్ డిస్టింగ్ uh physics used to know uh, physics was a separate thing uh so in my school we had a division of subjects icsc yeah a very like around when i was in 6th is when we had division of our subjects so mathematics was not something i picked up but it used to be there in physics and chemistry oh, okay <laughs> yeah so that's my maths oh, okay yeah so uh, whatever subjects that were like important and looked uh, looked like oh my god these subjects you top those i topped <laughs> but then how did that uh, topper or that really bright student at physics decide to become an actor yeah. i like i said you know it's just uh, it's just that you can have your uh, calling or whatever it is you can find your passion whenever you can be good at multiple things and uh, still i don't say my business degree went to the went to waste it really helps me in my everyday life yeah. as well uh, but just like i don't know i never had this thing i had i wanted to be a cardiologist that used to be my thing that's why i picked up science also very early on like when we had a division i picked up science uh, because i wanted to be a cardiologist i thought it was very ama- like i loved it so much hmm. but then uh, at a very early on i took part in a beauty contest when i was in when i was having my summer holidays is when i took part in a beauty contest and then from there uh, you know movie came then from that i was like i really love this movie thing and all that and i hated going to college my biggest reason was uh, because i don't want to go to college i went to college only for one day okay i've never been to college and i only went to college for one day i saw a lot of people in different colored clothes and i had to talk to everybody so i decided i never want to go to college okay no oh, okay. <laughs> oh you're an introvert <laughs> i i don't want to go to college i'll sit at home and study <laughs> I okay. don't want to go. And the only thing I could think of other than uh, studying at home was uh, like oh I have already done this thing. I liked it when I was there. So I wanted to explore more of it and I was like and then I got really adamant that this is what I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And like that, <laughs> I've heard of reasons why people have uh, you know not liked college or wish to drop out of college. This is the wackiest one so far. <laughs> నేను కాలేజ్ కి వెళ్ళాను అందరిని చూసాను ఓకే నీ ఐ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు స్టే హియర్ సో ఐ హావ్ హాడ్ ది సేమ్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ విత్ మీ సేమ్ ఫ్రమ్ వెన్ ఐ వాస్ ఇన్ థర్డ్ గ్రేడ్ టిల్ మై ప్లస్ 12 ఓకే ఓకే లైక్ టిల్ దెన్ ఐ వాస్ టిల్ దెన్ ఐ వాస్ ఇన్ స్కూల్ ఓన్లీ టిల్ మై ప్లస్ 12 సో ఐ హాడ్ ది సేమ్ పీపుల్ సేమ్ thing everything it felt like home and the moment someone put me into the uh, the college thing as like no i am not going to college i only went for a day as like i don't like it i don't wish to do any of it i don't want to talk to anybody i don't want to ne- meet anybody and also at, that was the time when we moved to a different city from another city that we were living which in which city from bangalore to we moved to delhi oh oh okay yeah so and everyone was new <laughs> like no i don't want to so you you went to du uh no i didn't go to du i don't remember where did i go uh, i went to what no not De- delhi university i went to i forgot the name of that college also okay <laughs> literally for a day i never even checked what college it was <laughs> like i i my obviously did then i i'm terrible at <laughs> this so yeah that's when we were moving different sit, uh, states also so oh, okay. i was like no not happening 
Okay. Okay. Not for me. <laughs> If they all wear uniform, maybe I would have liked it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good. Yeah. No. There were so many coloured clothes and so many people. I think. No. I don't. But if you're in industry, lo, in every set you meet a new group of people, no. Yeah. Now that, that is, uh, see, when you know you will make tweaks in your personality or in the way you are or whatever it is, if it has, if it has anything to do with something you really love. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. And, uh, so this is something I really love, and if it needs me to tweak some things for a certain period of time, I, I don't mind doing it. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> So Daksha, you have any other projects that are going to release soon, or any? Not releasing, but there are two projects that I would start shooting for. Uh, I think probably November is one, and I think February, Jan or Feb is the other one. Yeah. Okay. So our dates are yet to come, so those two I will go on to the sets. Okay. Yeah. Well, all the best for swag Thank and you. the two projects. Daksha. Thank you so Thank much. You. Hi guys, it's me Rashi Khanna, and you're watching me on Gulti.com. Hi, this is Hansika Motwani, and you're watching me on Gulti.com. Hi, Nenu me Pooja Hegde, and you are watching Gulti.com. Hi, guys, Nenu me Rakul, and Meer Chustanaru, Gulti.com. Hi, this is Priya Mani, and you're watching me on Gulti. Hey, guys, Andhra ki namaskaram. This is DSP here, me Devi Sri Prasad, and you're watching me on Gulti.com. Hey, guys, this is Janvi Kapoor, and you're watching me on Gulti.com. You're watching us on Gulti. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Only love to you.